Three, two, one. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Arcavius, your lovable big boy, and as you can see, we are here with another episode of Fat Man Tries. And uh, today, as you can tell from the title, we are doing Iranian food. Now, um, for those of you who do not know, I'm actually half Iranian. Uh, well, to the whole basis of my dad's Iranian, my mom was born in America. So, half and half. So, for those of you who always ask, you know, what's your religion, whatever, well, it's kind of interesting because I'm kind of like half half as well you know i see some truths in um the bible i see some truths in the quran uh but that's not why we're here we're not here for religion we are here to be tasting some foods now i don't have too many because we i can only get them from the iranian store in um in lower parts of florida um and i know in california they're really big because in california uh, there's like a huge population of iranian citizens almost kind of like um when you think of like Little Italy or, you know, I guess, I think Chinatown is one of them, where it's like a big, like, amount of one specific type of people. Um, so what we have today, we have two drinks and um, two kinds of candy. Now, the first drink we're going to be trying, it's called um, Basil Seed Drink with Lychee Flavor. Let's go ahead and show you that right there. I know it's a little hard to see because the camera doesn't want to focus on it here stop focusing on my Facebook there you go focus on the beverage focus focus it's like not wanting to focus it's it's also very difficult for me to do um, now interesting thing basil seeds it's um it's not just like as a flavor um hang on let me make sure do I have to shake this uh, I'll probably shake it just to be safe, but I don't I don't see it saying it needs to be shaken, but I'll shake it anyways. Now, basil seeds are actually like a medicine almost for um, a lot of Iranian people. They will use it. Um, I believe uh, the way that my dad was telling me is that it's supposed to help with weight loss. Um, it reduces your body heat, like if you're having a fever. Um, uh, controls your blood sugar levels. Now, of course, that's also the fact that, you know, it's not in a, a sugary drink. Um, it also helps when you have a cold, like I said, with the fever thing. It, uh, um, and my dad said that he's actually never tried these, which is kind of funny. Uh, it must be a new item. So let's go ahead and just pop it. I think we just pull this. Is it? Oh. There we go. It smells a little weird. Now, for those of you who also do not know what a lychee is, it is a it is a type of berry that grows on a tree. It's mostly farmed in Asia and India, um, and uh, pretty much how it is, it has like a little harder outer shell that you open it up and uh, you pull it out, and has like a little white um, little white berry in it. Um, let me see if I can actually find a photo for you guys. Um, here let me obviously you guys can look it up but hey why not have a little bit of fun here uh, we'll do the I think starting stream will just show it there we go that's what a lychee is right there um, to the hard outer shell right there you uh, you would break this this little shell right here and you pull it out you don't eat the seed you can you can actually plant the seed but you, you don't eat that that has a high uh, I believe it said it has like a high um, there's like a toxin in it that uh, you can't really eat. It'll make you sick. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and drink this. Hopefully, I don't die from this beverage. Um, and let's I'll tell you what it tastes like. Hang on. Hmm. It's a weird combination of bitter and sweet. Like the sweet obviously overpowers the bitter, but um. I'm not a big fan of those basil seeds in there. It makes me feel like you ever you ever went to a restaurant and you went to go take a drink of something and it just you obviously something solid went in your mouth and you know it wasn't a piece of ice or something. That's kind of what it feels like you're drinking. But uh hmm. I don't know if you can actually see this. Let me see if I can get it really close up. Um if you look at the seeds, it kind of has 
this like weird you could probably see it on the bottom easier because the light is reflecting you see that little white thing circling the seeds that's actually part of um, the basil plant that's just like it has it always has like a little outer coating that um, protects it almost not really protects it it's more of a nutrition thing for the seed if you end up planting it um, let me see so he only has oh, so 140 calories just for one of these and the sugars holy shit 30 32 grams let's go ahead and uh, well soda has 35 grams but that is also just uh, oh 120 calories Interesting. So it is kind of like just like a soda, pretty much. Um, any Iran. We gotta take another taste of this. Mm. It's really good, but that, like I said, those basil seeds, man, they just I'm not a fan of those. So, next we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try out another one. Now this one doesn't have basil seeds in it, and I am gonna shake this one because um, it looks like it needs to be shaken. This is called. Fal uh, Faluda drink with rose flavor. Now, Faluda, or Falud? I don't know if I'm saying it correctly. Obviously, I'm not from around. I don't know what it means. Uh, I mean, I don't know how to say it. It is also an Indian dish, and it means cold dessert. Now, um, hang on one second. I have to. Uh, <laughs> I lost my OBS. So let's go ahead and let's get that coloring right there. Booyah! Cover my face. Maybe. There you go. No. You wanna. So, there's something in there. I don't know what it is. I can't see it. It almost like a milkshake. It looks like kind of like a milkshake. Now, rose petals, well, rose in general, is a huge part of um, Middle Eastern and Iranian um, uh, food prep. And it's. There's so many uses for roses. But the way that they do it is. They take the roses and they put them in a like not not roses but the is it the whole rose or is it just the rose petals? I believe it's just the rose petals. Um, again, I will also find you a picture of this, um, and we will open that up as well. And uh, webcam off and uh, starting stream. Okay, oh, it's a little it's a little big. Um, does that show? There we go. Now, this gigantic pot is pretty much heated up. Um, that was... Uh, sorry, Chow was uh, messing me. So, um, it's pretty much heated up, and the roses... as you, It's obviously the whole rose, as you can see. Um, as it's heated up, the water and the, that has been collected overnight will actually become that rose water and it's it's used for a lot of different things it's used in uh, medicine it's used for cooking for fragrances and it has like a sweet taste to it almost um uh hey let's go ahead and come back uh i was i was doing hand gestures towards the camera like it was like it was on um but anyways it's like a, it has like a sweet aroma and everything like that it's used for medicines and it's actually a religious thing for those who do not know rose water is actually holy water which is used in, uh, for the Catholic religion um, <laughs> uh, so we're gonna give it a try I've never been a big fan of rose flavored anything uh, so we'll go ahead and take a take a quick drink of this one um, there is something that my dad loves and it's rose water ice cream and it's literally just ice and rose water and it's it's not really my uh, cup of tea I really hope this isn't like expired I know the other one wasn't expired let me make sure this isn't uh, uh... oh produced I was like oh shit this is expired no it's not it's uh, 2019 okay so let's go ahead and let's take a look at these nutritional facts real quick this one is 240 calories and 28 grams of sugar, 9 grams of protein. So this is a little heftier, obviously, because it's uh, like a dessert drink. So it's you. It you can't even really smell the rose. I, honestly, I smell like milk. Kind of like a. 
almost like a like a vanilla ice cream almost, but I know it's not gonna taste like vanilla ice cream, so uh, God. Hmm. Okay, what is it? Oh, okay. Let me see if I can get a good close up of this. You guys see that on my finger? It's I know it's really hard to see, but it's pink. It's a uh, It's it's rose. It's like actual like rose pieces. Like um mm. It's obviously been turned into some kind of candy. So it's a candy drink that it kind of, that threw me. I'm like, "Please don't be something black." Oh my god, please don't be something black. But uh, it's it's pretty good. It's almost like a strawberry milkshake. Uh Mm, not really strawberry. It's not as sweet as strawberry. It had just you can definitely taste the rose in it though. Um, interesting fact about this though. When you're harvesting the roses for your rose petals for to to make rose water, you have to do it early in the morning before the sun comes up because you the flower has been retaining moisture all night, and that's what you make your rose water out of. It's the water that the roses retain. And if you do it during the day, there's no water that's... Well, there is water now, obviously, because the rose has to live. But it's not a lot of water, because the sun dries it out. So from early morning all the way up to the moment the sun rises, they're picking roses out there, and that's what they use for them. I like the lychee one a lot better. Like I said, I've just never really been a huge fan of rose... Is that... I think there's an actual rose petal in there. I can't... I wish I could grab it. I can't really see it. Um, hmm. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and go on past that. Next, we have Eti Chicolata. It is uh, pistachio chocolate. Well, it's not pistachio chocolate. It's chocolate with pistachios in it. So... Let's go ahead and open this. And it just looks like a regular old chocolate bar, obviously. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> mm, one of those rose pieces got stuck in my throat. Um, so let's go ahead, just go ahead and dig into it. Let's see. It, um, it honestly just tastes like Yeah, I'm not really tasting the pistachios. Yeah, no, I don't really taste the pistachios. It almost just tastes like peanut butter or peanut butter? Chocolate with peanuts in it. So, but obviously pistachios are a nut, so if any of you guys um, are allergic to nuts, you know. That's not bad. And last but not least, we're going to go ahead and try out these right here. God damn it. It take forever to chew, I'll tell you that much. Jesus. I need to open this up. Hang on. Come here, you rat bastard. There we go. Okay. And we'll open that. Come on. Alright, we got it open. Kind of. There's like a... Oh, wow, okay. There's like that little video game filament on the outside of it. Ah! Were they afraid someone's gonna steal these? Jesus Christ. Now, I'll just show the box. These are called Turkish Delights with rose petals. Now, obviously, you know, tur you say Turkish, that's not Iranian. Well, actually, these are sold in Iran as a type of candy. Um... I'm not sure. I think they're just. I think Turkish is just the name. I don't think it's like from Turkey. But of course, the rose petals in it. Now these actually have pieces of rose petal in them. Let me try and get above that glare. There we go. Look at those. Hazar Baba. Hazir Baba. Baba Baba Baba. Um. There were a bunch of different kinds: pomegranate, strawberry. Um, but rose petal and pomegranate seem to be the main consensus for Iranian um, treats. Um, 
It's called Look Home. And it's suitable for vegans and vegetarians. So there you go, guys. If you're and gl yeah, gluten free too, man, you guys you guys got it going on right now. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this up. This thing is like a pain in the ass to open. How do you open this thing? Oh. Okay, so it's comes in like that. I don't know if you can kind of see it. It almost looks like crack rocks. <laughs> um, oh, it is a Turkish product, but it, it is like an Iranian cuisine that people do eat as like a like a, as a candy. Um, Lokum, a genuine Turkish product, is one of the most delectable sweets in the world. This traditional sweet was introduced in Europe into the 18th century. World renowned confectionery ever since, rightly called Turkish delights. Mixture of icing, sugar, corn flour, or diced coconut. Well, let's just go ahead and open this. I gotta be careful, because there is, like, like it says, this is, like, powdered sugar stuff on it, and I don't want it all over my keyboard. So there we go. Let's open. Let's go ahead and show that. As you can see, it just kind of looks like, like I said, a little crack rock. It's ridiculous. Um, but it is powdered sugar on the outside. Mm. You can really taste the rose in this one. Mostly because it actually has... It actually has rose petals in them. Now guys, if you have any questions, obviously, about these kinds of foods, Iranian culture, don't be afraid to ask. Ask in the comment section below or Google it. It's actually really cool. Um, right now, they're actually having a revolution in Iran to try and bring Shah back, which is like a king, um, because the revolutionists over there are not doing a very good job. They're bringing Iran. Iran, for a lot of people, they think used to be desert. It's it's like a big old desert, and it's, it's just Middle East, like almost like Afghanistan or Iraq. It's not. It was actually almost as free and advanced as America was until the fall of Shah and the rise of the revolutionists, and they brought everything back to a traditionalist country, which means wearing burqas and pe covering your face, you can't show anything. You can, I mean, really, you know, you steal, you cut off their hand, or, you know, you lie, you cut off your finger, you know, that kind of, like, revolutionism. And, and right now, they're actually fighting those revolutionists um, to get back their old way of life. Um, so I would go ahead and read into that. It's actually really interesting. Sorry, I was trying to see if I can get a rose petal in there for you. But um, they're really small to see. Now I have a whole handful of just sugar. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> mm. But that's going to conclude this episode, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, of course. If you do, subscribe. We always enjoy a new addition to our army. Let me know in the comment section down below. What food should I try next from what either country, uh, anything, just any country you want me to try. Go ahead and comment it down below. Guys, I'm going to go ahead and head out. This is your lovable big boy, signing out. Peace. Yeah.